What about the man or the lady? Where? On one. Oh, really? I didn't know about her. Hello, good morning. I thought you were never going to answer the phone. I didn't realise you were on. He, he didn't tell me. No, he's very dour, isn't he? Yes, he is, as a matter of fact. He's very dour. You see, people don't know what I have to put up with. He's, he's, he's abrupt and, you know, short. Uh, you see, people don't realise I'm not being helped at all here. But at least he got you on the phone. So. I know, but I'm bubbly and gay. Sorry, I'm bubbly right. and bright. <laughs> OK, what is your name? My name is Karen. Do you know what I'm ringing you about? I'm having awful trouble with a crow, but it's it's attacking my house. I think it's a crow now. It has been doing this now four days. It's, it's actually sitting up now as we speak, watching my house. Is it? It is. Did you ever see that film, The Birds? That is what it's like. If another 5,000 join it, you're in trouble. Well, you see, this is what I'm worrying about. As long as it's on its own, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Is it tapping in your window? Well, it's not tapping the window, Jerry. It's... It's actually dive bomb in the window till the blood is running down all the windows. I have a horse and I had him tied up out the back to force him out and it attacked the horse. It attacked a horse? And it hits your windows until the blood flies out yes. of the bird? Oh, it's self-harm, is that what it's called now? Self-destruction, yeah. Yes, it's kamikaze. <laughs> this seems to me like some kind of bird madness. Wouldn't be a bad sign. I wouldn't worry about that. No, it's just a bird crazy. I mean, there's uh, many crazy birds knocking about up. Well, I know that. I know. And I can't get any sleep. That's how loud it is. And my daughter went out. She's even camcorded it. I tr- tried to attack her. It's a hell of a bird, that. Well, OK, I'll tell you what. I'm sure somebody will ring us with a logical explanation for that. Let me just check. Cling film. Yes? Uh, cling film will, cu- will stop oh, no, the crow. You, you give me will it? Yeah, what, are you going to do, wrap it in it? No, no, if you put cling film al- at the bottom of the window... What's happening is the bird's seeing its reflection. Ah, don't be silly, sure. It's at the roof and everything. It's not just the window. The thing is trying to demolish the house. You're not listening. Just if it would be a simple case, even I know that if it's tapping at the window, it, no, it thinks it's its reflection. This is a serious crow here. Well, this is a crow that's determined to gain entry. Is this crow tapping at the... At the, at the, the it's tiny. ripping the roof off the bloody house. It's trying to, it's trying to demolish the house. It's not trying to tap the window. It's try- The woman's lying in her bed, terrified. You know that. Your wife's the same. Every night you come home. What's that noise? It's my, I'm doing my ironing. At the same time as talking to me on the phone? Uh, yes. That's a lack of respect, <laughs> isn't it? That's a lack of respect. Yeah. Could you could you please give a thank you to um, a Mr. Geddes? Yes. Yes. Um, for solving the problem of my septic tank. OK, Mr Gaddis, thank you for solving Karen's problem with her septic tank. Uh, do you remember I was on the phone a months ago about my septic tank? Did they tell you to put a chicken in it? Yes, they told me to put something dead in it. Yeah, chicken will do, yeah. Well, I got a fox. <laughs> <laughs> Can I be turned off? No. Hello. No, this is too um, good. I got a fox. What, you got a dead fox? Well, I found a fox at the side of the road. Oh. I didn't kill the fox. Right. And I had to put the fox on. But Mr. Geddes did offer me something. What did he offer you? He offered me a donkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit big, isn't it? That's what I said. I said it wouldn't fit in his separate tank. <laughs> You'd have to bend it over, don't you? But did, would, would he kill it first before he oh, put no, it in the septic? See, this is the thing about him. He would never kill a donkey. It would die of natural causes. I had to just go and look for something dead along the side of the road and find a fox and put it in the septic tank and everything seems to come smelling of roses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we'll just leave it at that. No wonder they're attacking your house. Words getting about. You've donkeys in your septic tank. All right, then anyone knows how to stop a... Another thing. What? Maybe you could do... I need a digger driver. (laughs) Well, you wouldn't get him in the septic tank. (laughs) (laughs) He mightn't want to go in.